Hey guys, what's up? It's Hannah and today I am bringing you all the websites I use to be my most productive and organized college self. websites are going to keep all of your projects, papers, due dates, everything organized. They're going to help you feel like a more productive student. They're going to create some digital minimalism for you. They are so amazing and I love using them um, in my own processes for work and for school, but we're going to put the emphasis on school here today. All right, so this first website is Notion, which I'm not going to talk about a ton because I just did a whole video dedicated to my Notion tour. I use Notion to help me organize all of my side hustles and work, but you can use Notion as a student as well. I even know some professors who use Notion for their syllabi to keep track of due dates, all the things. So I'm going to link my video to go watch my Notion tour here and in the description box and you guys can go watch once you're done with this video. So first up, I have Identity, which is a new website I found out about this year in 2021. They actually reached out to me um, to see if I would have any interest in trying it out and then bringing it to you guys. So thank you Identity for sponsoring this video. Identity is so cool because it allows you to organize everything you do online in one place. If you're like me, I always have a million tasks open at a time. I always feel like if I close a tab, I'm going to lose it. If it's a source I'm writing for a paper, I keep the tab up till I'm like done with my paper. Being able to like declutter your internet space to simplify what you look at on your computer is so helpful when trying to keep a clear mind and stay focused because I know when I have a million tabs open, I will easily get distracted. And if I'm writing a paper, I'll easily head over to a tab that looks a little bit more enticing, you know, like that online shopping cart that I've been holding for a few days. So let me introduce you guys to Identity because Identity allows you to keep all of your tabs in one place and helps you organize them as well. It's this website that has a very simple interface, but it's amazing how it can organize everything. So you basically add in all your websites as what they call tiles, and then you can organize your tiles in different forms. So I have a tile for college websites, which is just for this video. Um, I have a group project tile, a finance tile, shopping, social media, and work. My work tiles are all based around websites that I use for work. My favorite way to use it though, and what I think is gonna be most beneficial for you guys, is when you're working on projects or papers and you have a million websites that you use as sources or that you use to organize, that you use to communicate with your group. And so I have a group project um, little center here. So I have some links to my Google Drive. I just click on the tile and it immediately opens up the website and you can do it where it saves your username and password. So if you normally have to sign in when you access the website, you just press on the tile and it automatically signs you in as well. You can also sync your Google Calendar on here, which is amazing. Let me just say as someone who lives by their Google Calendar. And so over here under my ETP 4000 group project, I have a to-do list for the week and I can set due dates. So I know that on the activity log, I need to submit by Wednesday the 17th and then we're good to go. It really allows me to stay organized and stay on task by not having a million tabs open and being overwhelmed. I get to focus in on what I'm working on and have all of my websites that I use for that project in one space. If you wanna learn more or sign up for free, click the link in the description box and try it out. I think you guys are going to love it. So now let's talk about note taking. Freshman year when I thought I wanted to take notes digitally, I used Evernote. And so if you do like taking notes on your laptop, I personally love Evernote. If you are going to be taking notes on your on an iPad or a tablet, I like using good notes. So that's what I use now. I either handwrite my notes or I use my iPad with good notes. But Evernote is also a great place to store everything. You can also upload PDFs and edit them. Um, and it also syncs across devices. So it makes having your notes when you need them very easy. Going back to group projects, I know it can be sometimes hard to manage and keep track of who's doing what. So that's why I love the product management sites Asana and Slack. I personally like Asana for like getting things done, making due dates, all of that, but Slack is great if you have a really large team. I used Slack in my internship and I think a lot of, especially smaller companies, maybe even bigger companies, use Slack. And so if you want to get a leg up, if you're about to enter the workforce or get an internship, try to learn Slack um, and use it for maybe an upcoming group project. It basically allows you to communicate with your team and have um, team like groups all on one 
website. So instead of texting or grouping people from your team, you can have it all on Slack so that, yeah, when you, when you know it's time to work, you go into the Slack room and you're not constantly bombarded with messages on your personal phone. Asana, you can assign due dates to people within the group. You can set objectives and goals. You can create vision boards for your project. It's a really great tool for, yeah, just again, communicating and keeping all of the items for a group project and all of your communication in one place. It really saves me so much time when I'm writing essays, discussion posts, emails, whatever it may be. I have the Chrome extension, and so whenever I'm writing an email or on most websites, it'll automatically let me know if I misspelled something, if I you know added a comma where there shouldn't be one. And then for my really long essays, I always paste it into Grammarly to check and see that everything is everything is golden. I do this before I even have a friend check it, just because you know it, it catches the little stuff that you will miss if you're just looking at your own paper. It catches it for you, and then I still recommend giving it to a friend or someone to read before you submit an assignment, um, like an essay, but it's a great first step and I, it saves me so much time, um, especially proofreading my geek stuff like emails and whatnot. If you're in college and you don't know about Grammarly yet, like what are you doing? You need to go get this. You need to start using this right now. <laughs> These last two are two new ones that I recently discovered and I'm obsessed with. The first one is the toggle time tracker and I really need to start doing this more because I want to know how much time per week I'm spending in my business, I'm spending on YouTube, and I'm spending on school just so I can be aware um, or you know maybe just how much time I'm spending browsing the internet when I should be doing one of those three things. And so this is cool because you open it up, they also have an extension. And you basically describe whatever you're working on. So I am gonna be filming. And then you start the time tracker. And then you can add it to a project. So you can add it to, okay, this is the amount of time I'm spending on this group project. This is the amount of time I'm spending on um, this freelance job I'm doing. So you can also use these for work, especially if you're charging someone by the hour for freelance or you know whatever work you may be doing. You can create an invoice and you can say, okay, I use the toggle time tracker. This is how much time I spent doing this and this, and that is why I'm charging you this. So that's not for school necessarily. That's for like, if you're a freelancer and you need a time tracker, um, if you get paid by the hour. But this is super cool to use, I think on group projects, because as of right now, I have to report to my professor how much time I spent working on this group project a week. And so this allows me to keep track of it um, so that I can know how much time I spent doing tasks for them. It's pretty simple, but super helpful. And if you're not tracking your time already, it can be, it can be a super great way to figure out what you're spending your most time on. And is it worth your time too? You know, like maybe you should be dividing up your time a little bit better, but try this out doing it for a week and you can see how you spend your time. All right. And then the last app is called Coggle. I know Toggle and Coggle. This is a great website to go to for mind mapping. It's basically um, where you have either yourself or with your team, you kind of put all your ideas just down somewhere. And this is perfect for right now because normally, you know, you'll meet with your group project in person and you're able to like use a whiteboard or a piece of paper and like write around the table and like discuss in person. But since we're on Zoom, it can be a lot harder to kind of get everyone's ideas from different you know zoom webcams onto the same idea and so this is great because you can start um, a mind map here and you can share the screen on zoom or whatever meeting platform and you guys can talk through it and kind of all see it visually but all while being virtual so I love this app for again group projects there's a big theme going on here as I have a lot of group projects this semester um, but this is a great way to make sure everyone in your group or even yourself is on the same page and it's a digital mind board. Love it. So those are all the apps and websites I recommend for students, high school and college, um, in order to feel your most organized and productive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you're subscribed and follow me on Instagram and TikTok for all of my content. And I hope you guys have a phenomenal rest of your day. Bye. Peace out.